Hi, this is Premasis Manna, your personal chemist. Welcome to our channel, The Molecular Kitchen, where we talk about science behind cooking, particularly chemistry behind cooking. Uh, today we'll talk about apples and we'll make apple sauce. Before we go into the actual cooking, uh, here are some fun facts. I work at MIT. At MIT, there is a place called President's Garden. Here, we have many trees, uh, but there is a special tree. It's Newton's apple tree. You probably all know the story, right? It is said that Newton was sitting under an apple tree, then all of a sudden, an apple fell on the ground, and it occurred to him that maybe Earth pulls everything towards the center. And that's how he discovered his famous theory of gravity. In 1977, an alumnus of MIT, Ed Vetter, donated an apple tree which he got from England's Royal Botanical Garden as a gift. It is a direct descendant of Newton's famous apple tree. That's the one. It has been in MIT since 1977, but it bore fruit only in 2006. I don't know whether Newton's apple tree story is true or not, but over the centuries, Newton's apple tree has become a symbol of great groundbreaking discovery. Okay, now let's go back to the cooking. A few days ago, we visited an apple orchard in Massachusetts. As far as my eye goes, I can see only beautiful apple trees full of red apples. on both sides. Now we'll pick some apples. Some apples are ripe. Some ripe and crisp. And some far behind. We'll pick some ripe ones. Maybe this one. As you can see, I have touched this one and it just came right away because it was very ripe. Look at the really bright velvety color. It's gorgeous. We came home with some ripe red ones. Shape of apple. It's weird. And physicist at Harvard University we are really intrigued by its shapes. You see, this is the cusp of apple, and they wanted to know how it happened. And they did some study and simulation, and they actually showed that the core of the apple and the cortex of the apple, they grow at different speed. The core of the apple, the growth is slow and the cortex is really fast growing part. And that's why over the time from the round sphere it actually converts to something like this. Hmm, interesting. To make apple sauce, now we cut the apples into small pieces like this. As you all know, apple contains a lot of vitamins and minerals that are helpful. And that's why there is a poor proverb, an apple's a day keep doctors away. 
which is right. It has been few minutes, we cut the apple and we already see apples turning into brown and that is not good. Let's go into the chemistry part of this. You probably have seen when you cut the apple and left it open for a few minutes, you'll see brown coloration uh, on apple. Do you know why this thing happened? Actually, this is due to enzymatic browning. In apples and other fruits, you have a lot of polyphenols. And when polyphenols react with certain type of oxidase, for example, polyphenol oxidase, ultimately it will produce melanin, which is brown in color. And that's why when you cut apples, mangoes, uh, you'll see some brown coloration after a few minutes and there's some good aspect in it there's some bad aspect in it the coloration is helpful when you're uh, making raisins from grapes or the coloration in coffee beans that comes from this enzymatic browning but of course your apples and bananas goes bad and they looks they look bad, they taste bad because of this enzymatic browning. So that's the bad aspect in it. We add a little water on the apple so that it does not stick onto the pan. And then start to melt the apple by cooking at low heat. Earlier I was talking about the nutrition content in apples. Apple contents lot of vitamins E, B, C, K, E, lots of it. So please have it. We add little cinnamon sticks. Cinnamon has cinnamon dehyde and that's actually responsible for its flavor. The ripe apples are now melting to produce applesauce. We blend it to make it a little smoother. We add sugar. You can add sugar if you like it sweetened. Sugar is mostly sucrose and sucrose is a, di is a disaccharide. It's made of, uh, it is made of glucose and fructose. I think this is done now. I like this consistency. So we will put this in a jar and we'll be done. Thank you for watching. Hope you like it and you like all the apple stories that I told you. Next week I will come back with some new cooking, new chemistry. Bye bye. Thank you.